Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are going to do a leftover paint pour. This is on an 8 by 10 canvas. I just got this out of the package, but it looks a little rough. We'll deal with it. So this is from all the purple paintings that I've done lately. Um, this is the... Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Dark Purple that you see in here. That's just the red and blue mixed together. And then the light purple, which you can't see in the cup, but you can see on the outside of the cup, is Art Minds Decor Concord. It's the same purple we've been using. And then, cause that was the, these are the cups that I mixed them in, and then I just let it drain into one. And then here's another cup that has all kinds of colors in it. I don't even know. Um, so I'm going to do a tree room. I'm going to start with this cup because it has less uh, colors in it. And then this paint will get pushed to the edges. And then this one has more colors in it, in theory. Oh, it's so pretty. There was silver in here. There was... Um, some sort of turquoise, black. I don't remember all of the colors. Oh, we got a little drip. Well, here, let's wreck it. Yeah, let's do that. Here, let's do one more through the drip. So now you can't even tell it was a drip. For those of you new to pouring, I would definitely say that tilting is probably the most nerve-wracking. Especially when I watch my videos on replay, I can I like scream at myself going, Why did you do that? <laughs> Um, cause you just never know. You've got to get some of it off. You've got to move it around and fill the whole canvas, but watching it on replay is probably the worst cause you're just like cringing when you see something that you should have done differently. <laughs> Make sure I got all my sides here. I actually really like how this turned out. It almost looks like a, uh, What's it called? A strainer pour. The way that I wrecked it and the way that I moved it. I still think there's a lot of paint on here. I'm gonna move it a little bit more this way, mainly because this side has some duller colors. It's not as vibrant on that side. Yeah, I like it. Look at those drips. Even the drips are kind of cool. All right. Normally you don't get a ton of cells on leftover paint pours, mainly because the paint has been sitting. And so a lot of the air has come out. But there actually is not a ton compared to the original pour. Or the, yeah. The original pour we did. This is actually the paint... I just remembered <laughs> this paint was on the spinner, um, the, the spinner on a budget pour we just did. I'll link that video in the in the description so you can see it because that one had tons of cells come up. This one had slightly less, mainly in the middle here, which kind of makes sense because our outside paint was the paint that was mixed, so it didn't have any of the metallics or anything else in there. I'm going to torch it real quick just because I love to torch you absolutely do not have to torch if you don't want to, or if you don't have a torch, it will, um, all the air will come out on its own. Really like how this turned out. Let me bring you in for a close-up. All right, here we are for the close-up. Start in the upper left-hand corner. We've got the purples, blacks, the phthalo turquoise here let me grab it real quick yeah phthalo turquoise that's by daler and R roni maybe mispronouncing that 
it's probably my favorite part that, that my favorite blue that's in here um, and then you'll probably see some some sheen to it that's the silver the the sheen from that silver the sparkle kind of still shows up all throughout the piece oh, I like that about it up to the upper right hand corner across the top and then the middle let me know what you think about this piece in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And do what makes you happy.